Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis and I'll be replying to as many comments on this video as I can. With this weekend's ultimate thrill ride, WrestleMania 33, now expected to run over 87 hours, missing the pre-show seemed like a good way to shorten that length. But it's now been announced the card's best looking match on paper, Austin Aries vs Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship, is on the pre-show along with the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, which both Braun Strowman and Sami Zayn entered on last night's episode of Raw. Thankfully, WWE have actually scheduled a toilet break intermission for this year's WrestleMania. It's called the part where Pitbull and Flo Rida perform. Myself and Flickering Myths Luke Owen have posted two videos right here on WrestleTalk's YouTube channel. Cheap pop running through all our predictions for the card. It's a new, much longer type of show we're trying out, so I'd really appreciate if you could give it a watch and let us know what you think in the comments. One person who's looking less and less likely to appear at WrestleMania 33 is Eva Marie. All Red Everything hasn't been on WWE TV since being suspended for 30 days for her first violation of the company's wellness policy back on the 17th of August. She was receiving a relatively strong push on SmackDown shortly before the suspension, with her gimmick rather aptly being based entirely on her not being able to wrestle. Even after her suspension was up though, she still didn't return to action. There have recently been rumours that she's making her return for the SmackDown Women's Championship match at WrestleMania, but according to Wrestling Inc, that might be a tad optimistic. The site are reporting WWE will not be renewing Eva Marie's contract when it's up and she's apparently done with the company. Marie has also removed references to being a WWE superstar from her Twitter profile, although her Instagram account still reads WWE Superstar. Another WWE career that seems to be in limbo is Paige's, who was actually suspended for her first wellness policy violation the day before Eva's, and received her second shortly after. But during all this, Paige underwent neck surgery, and the general WWE rule is not to release talent while they're still recovering recovering from injuries sustained under your watch. And then, more recently, Rock for Dwayne Johnson decided to make a movie based on her life with WWE Studios, protecting her job with the company even more. The latest twist came two weeks ago when Paige was the victim of a hack, having private photos and videos leaked online. She has now posted a lengthy response on Twitter. I made a big mistake. Huge. I put trust in the hands of someone that took advantage of a young girl years ago. But I'm blessed beyond words to have a family and a husband stick by me because they know who I am. Unfortunately, people don't see it that way when they are behind a keyboard. They don't think that we have feelings or that we don't suffer. Not only was I a victim of viral humiliation, but a victim of cyberbullying. I had days where I wanted to physically harm myself. The statement carries on, saying to find a positive in this situation, Paige wants to bring down the people behind the hacking and the trolls that have abused her online, and to help others who find themselves in similar situations. As I said when we first reported this on WrestleTalk, it's vitally important to step back from the wrestling fandom mindset here and remember these are very real people with family and friends affected by the news. Paige's fiance Del Rio has also posted a rather interesting message on Instagram. Doesn't matter how many times you try to break us, it's not gonna happen. We were harassed by a company, we still are. Cause you don't fool me, Emma Effers. I know it was you trying to destroy us, destroy my baby. She's better, stronger than all of you pieces of poo emoji. We are getting married Wednesday. Have a nice and go and F yourself, hatters. First off, congratulations on the impending wedding, but also those are some serious accusations of harassment towards that company. It's WrestleMania week, people! Get in the mood for the ultimate thrill ride by watching WrestleTalk's WrestleMania predictions for both Raw and SmackDown by clicking the videos to the left and press subscribe. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.